Hey, well, good morning, everybody. It's been a while since we've done one of our fireside chats. Um, been gone on vacation. Oh, God is so good. The things that we saw, he's amazing. Just want to say it's good, good to be back again. We're going to do things a little different. Um, I know that one of the things we're going to do, we're going to be starting our Bible study, 630 on Wednesdays again, and we're going to be live streaming that as well. So you can, you know, if you're still afraid, that's fine. No worries, no rush. We're going to be doing everything we can to accommodate those, and we will continue to do so. You're in our prayers. and continue to pray for us here at the church. I want to talk about today, I'm going to read out of the book of Luke, chapter 17. And while I was gone, I read this, and it, it kind of made some sense when I looked at it. And it starts and says, you know, Jesus said to his disciples, Things that cause people to stumble are bound to come, but woe to anyone through whom they come. It would be better for them to be thrown into the sea with a millstone tied around their neck than to cause one of these little ones to stumble. So watch yourself. So it's important, you know, as I read this, that we have to be careful because little ones are watching us. And our example has to be there, so we have to be careful. And I can see Jesus saying this to the disciples, and the disciples look at him and would go, Yeah, that's no problem. We can watch ourselves? Sure. That's easy. We can do that. And then Jesus goes on and says... If your brother or sister sins against you, rebuke them. And if they repent, forgive them. Even if they sin against you seven times in a day and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them. Now I see the disciples going, whoa, seven times in one day. Are you? Now we're getting to something that's a little more difficult. And as we read in the story, they went from, yeah, Jesus, we can, we, can, we can watch ourselves. That's easy. Now, all of a sudden, Jesus throws something else into it. In verse 5, the apostles said to the Lord, increase our faith. Because they knew that was going to be very, very difficult to do. And he said, in order for us to do that, we need to increase our faith. And Jesus went on to say, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to the mulberry tree, be uprooted, plant in the sea, and it will obey you. Suppose one of you has a servant plowing or looking after the sheep. Will he say to the servant when he comes in from the field, Come along now and sit down to eat. Won't he rather say, Prepare my supper, get yourself ready, and wait on me while I eat and drink? After that you may eat and drink. Will he think that the servant, because he did what he was told to do? So also, when you have done everything you were told to do, you should say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done our duty. So when they looked at Jesus, increase our faith. What do we need to do? And then he tells them that story. He tells them what about a servant. They have a duty that they have to do without question. And so Jesus is telling them, you want to increase your faith? Obey. Follow the word. Don't question this, you know what you have to do. And it's so important that we understand that. In the beginning, go, yeah, that's easy. We can do that. Then when he says, hey, you got to have a forgiving heart. You have to have a loving heart. You need to do these things. And they freak out a little bit. Hey, you got to increase their faith. And instead of trying to go through some long dissertation about faith, he just says, like a servant, a servant obeys the master. And as servants, we need to obey our master. And we need to understand that. And I like what's next. A lot of people separate this from the story because now they're on their way to Jerusalem. And as they're traveling along, they're going into a village. Ten men who had leprosy met him, and they stood at a distance and called out in a loud voice, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And we saw them, he said, Go show yourself to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed. Only one of them who was healed, came back and praised God in a loud voice. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And that has a time that story as well with us. We need to have faith. We need to obey. And more importantly, like that one leper, can you imagine, can you imagine how he felt that his leprosy was now clean and how he was just at the feet of Jesus? Thank you, thank you. That's what we need to be. We need to be so thankful for the blessings that Jesus gives us each and every day. And that's what I want to leave you with. Be thankful for all that he's done for us. Have that faith. And in order to have that faith, we need to obey his word. Let's go to Lord in prayer. 
Our dear precious Heavenly Father, we just thank you for who you are and what you do. You are so awesome. You are so wonderful. We just ask that as you increase our faith, we understand that we need to obey you. Give us that strength. Give us that courage because we all fall short. But we ask you to lift us up. Lift us up in your love. And as you do that, let us have that same love for others. We just thank you that we can have this opportunity just to share a few moments thinking about you. Let us have you on our heart every moment of every day, dear God. We just thank you for the promises that you give us. It's your name that we pray. Amen. We're going to be doing this again. I'll let you know. But hey, it's so good to be back with you. Continue praying. And again, find ways to serve God. We'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.